Welcome to the ultrasonic radar tutorial. Since you are familiar with most of the circuit parts, I have used a TFT LCD as the local display. Be with me to explain more. To help you move forward step by step, I've put together a list of the parts you'll need. To build this project, you'll need an Arduino, an SRF05 module, a small servo motor, a 240 by 240 pixel TFT LCD, a breadboard and some wire. I suggest using a flat wire to connect the SRF05 module to the Arduino and cover the pins to prevent short circuits. Like this. You can also connect the other end of the wire to regular header pins. Now it's time to design the circuit diagram. I connected the module's power supply to the 5 volts Arduino. Also, the trigger pin to Arduino pin number 7 and the echo pin to Arduino pin number 6. In the program, I define that pin number 7 of the Arduino is activated for 10 microseconds. Then I calculate the duration of the echo pin activation with this piece of code and multiply it by this decimal number to read the resulting number in centimeters. Here you can see the result. Let's go back to the circuit diagram. We also connect the servo motor to the 5 volt supply and its signal line to pin number 3 of the Arduino. Now all you need to do is attach the SRF05 sensor to the servo motor with the help of hot glue. In the program, after adding the servo motor library and specifying the pin connected to the servo motor signal line, we write two loops to give the servo motor angles from 0 to 180 degrees and 180 to 0 degrees. That's great, but before we go any further, let me introduce the sponsor of this video. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. PCBWay offers the best custom PCB prototyping service. You can get Instant Squad for any of their services with minimum quantity requirements. They also offer CNC machining, 3D printing, injection molding, and more. Their website and Instagram page are in the description below this video. Check them out for more information. Well, for the display on the TFT LCD, I took a central point and to see if my design works, I drew a semicircle using line drawing functions and trigonometric ratios. The angles of which are determined by the loop counter in the program. Whatever angle the servo motor has, the line drawn on the LCD also has the same angle. Alright, so in the program, I define it so that if the distance measured by the SRF05 sensor is less than 3.5 meters, I draw a green line from the center point to the obstacle, and then a red line after that. For distances greater than 3.5 meters, I'll draw a blue line because sometimes the SRF05 sensor can give incorrect readings under certain conditions. And here's the final result, I hope you like it. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to like this video. These videos you see now are created with the help of this LCD, so don't miss them.